Go back. This hip and this knee. You see, you have to release it. Mm. Yes. So there is this relation between hip breathing and the knee bending. And quick. And, and rumble walk, still, it's still a walk. It still has to, rumble walk should not look like a, a twist, twist, twist. Rumble walk should look like a walk. So it's very, so if I walk like this, so rumble walk, so if I walk like this, rumble walk will be exactly the same, but just from the tall heel, tall heel. And then you pay attention just to the knee walk. But it's still, a, it has to be a walk. It cannot turn into, into this. Which this exists too, <laughs> by the way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it? But first you have to get the pull. So number one for you to learn, it's knee relaxation with the, you softening your knee with the relaxation of your hip. Yes. And you see now you have this knee leading the foot. Walk. And walk. So feel just, as you walk, just how the knee is relaxing. Feel that, enjoy the bendingness of the knee. Walk. Because when you bend your knee a lot, the foot goes on top. So we get some footwork. And quick, and quick, and slow. And it's on distance, it's like this. When you one here, one here walks, then it's more like a twisting because you have to really return. You just feel the knee, go. And quick, and quick, and slow. Don't just rotate, just knee only. And, and press on the go. And quick, and quick and slow now here it will change go walk and go walk and slow and go back to walking walk and walk so you see it's like a slightly two different things the 